I love delving into the Foxtel movie library to rediscover gems from the past. And one of the comedies that had me laughing out loud was Soap Dish from 1991. It stands the test of time well. Has a splendid cast led by Sally Field, doing what she does so well, being overly emotional <laughs> with a terrific knack for comic timing. She plays Celeste Talbot, an actress whose long run in the soap opera The Sun Also Sets has terrible moments of insecurity, not least because of her age. Behind the scenes is a Machiavellian producer, Robert Downey Jr., who can't wait to get rid of her, to replace her with the actress he lusts after, Kathy Moriarty, but he's thwarted by the show's head writer and Celeste's great friend, Rose Schwartz, Whoopi Goldberg. Listen, you. I have worked for this woman for 15 years. I have written every line she's ever uttered, and I ain't writing nothing garbagey like that. You understand me? And then into the mayhem comes Celeste's niece, Laurie, Elizabeth Shue. <laughs> An aspiring actress with just a touch of All About Eve in her. And to add more spice to the plot, an old flame of Celeste, Jeffrey Anderson, Kevin Klein, is rescued from oblivion in Florida, where he's been playing Willie Noman to a bunch of geriatrics to rejoin the show, despite the fact that he was beheaded in a road accident years ago. Celeste is appalled. It's been directed by Michael Hoffman at a cracking pace from a screenplay by Robert Harling and Andrew Bergman, both experienced writers of both soaps and comedies. The script is delicious, very knowing, as it pokes fun at every character and at the whole notion of TV soaps. But it's the cast that brings this sparkling comedy to life. Sally Field is outrageously good as Celeste and Kevin Klein is just such a fine comic actor. He is brilliant in this. I'm not going back to Florida, no how. You try playing Willie Loman in front of a bunch of old farts eating meatloaf, chewing and slurping and spitting out their pits. They're all good. There's not a weak performance in the film. Appearances from Carrie Fisher as a casting agent, Terry Hatcher as a new cast member, and Gary Marshall as a network executive just adds to the fun. Of course it's ridiculous, over the top, aren't all good comedies, but there's no time to stop and ponder the logic of all these shenanigans in the film. It just moves so fast, taking you with it every inch of the way. Four and a half stars. I've never worked in an atmosphere like this before. This whole pregnancy thing is a scam. I resent being treated like a leper. Having to work with those two is a personal nightmare for me. I'm on the verge of a breakdown. I'm on the verge of a nervous breakdown. I could conceivably have a breakdown. I mean, can you imagine having to face them on the set every single day? It just seems to get harder and harder. And you know, I have devoted my entire life to this show. Uh, oh. Mr. Edwards. It's them or me. That is the bottom line here. They go or I go. This is the toughest decision I've ever had to make, but I get paid $1.2 million to make these kind of command decisions. So here it is. 